your belief. You get your behind up and go out and start looking. Right. What you doing out here? I'm putting my faith in that. What faith? I know I'm getting a job. That's right. I just got to find it. Right. <laughs> I, I, I know I trust Jesus. I just got to obey him. I believe, yeah, people believe, people believe in Jesus, but if most of them won't go past that, they just won't do anything about it. Thank you, Jesus. Huh? Faith come by Hebrews. Faith come by hearing. Right. Hearing by the word of God. How can you hear without a preacher? How can they preach except they be sent? That's right. That's right. God is more than a calling. Too many operating on a calling. It's descending, baby. God got to send you to do this. God have mercy. The Bible said many went running. But God said, I didn't send these prophets. He said, I didn't send them. They prophesied a lie. I didn't send them. Wouldn't he? He said to self. Then why did I speak in my word? Because I didn't send them. Thank you, Jesus. Come on. Read on. Verse 27. For as many of you as have been baptized into Christ. See, everybody that been baptized into Christ. Have put on Christ. You put them on. See, your faith got to take you far enough where you'll get baptized into Christ. And when you get baptized into Christ, that means you put them on Christ. Huh? You put them on by baptism. Thank you, Jesus. Water baptism in Jesus' name. That's spiritual. It's a natural act that produces spiritual results. You put on Christ. And, and the Bible tells us, what shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin? That grace may abound. God forbid. How shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? Huh? So all of us that have been baptized into Jesus Christ have put on Christ. Thank you, Jesus. By baptism. Come on, read on. Verse 28. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither bond nor free. Hey, when it comes down to the church world, ain't nobody got nothing special. Right. Jews got to be that Jews, Greeks, bond, free. Everybody doing this dispensation of grace. The church age. Every human being got to be baptized in Jesus' name now, feel the Holy Ghost and live holy before they leave this earth. So nobody can wrap back and say, well, I'm a Jew. Well, so what? You're an unsaved Jew. And if you die in your sin, you're going to hell. Just like me. That's what the Bible said. There ain't no different. God got no respect of persons. No. You got to, everybody got to obey God. Thank you, Jesus. No matter what nationality, what color, huh? what country, what origin, don't matter. Every human on the planet, we are all the same in the Lord Jesus Christ. There's no difference. We people. And God came to save people. He's not saving five and me out right. That's right. in Tweety Bird. Right. He came to save people. Are y'all on that side? People got their dogs and they'll bomb and put them in a coffin. For what? Right. Dogs ain't got no soul. Right. No eternal life. He died, throw him in the ground, go buy you another one. Uh, Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. He doesn't have to that cruel. That ain't cruel. What's cruel about your dog died, throw him in the ground and Throw dirt on the get a What's cruel about that? <laughs> Sir, a paper ride around a helicopter and shoot in some wool. That's cruel. <laughs> That's what's cruel. Huh? They blowing that, blowing the wolves away. I don't know why she's shooting them and killing them. So that ain't cruel. <laughs> then they lock Michael Vick up for five dogs. Or she can kill wild free dogs and, and they glorify it. <laughs> ain't that a double standard? That's kind of hypocritical. <laughs> and sad Christian. Let me leave you that. <laughs> They're so, they're people so hypocritical. They're so one-sided. God ain't talking. Just, ain't you glad God not one-sided? Aren't you glad he's just so real? He's faithful to everybody? Aren't you so glad? Thank you, Jesus. Now, let's go back to Matthew 5, 17. Let's look what the Bible tells us here. The Bible said in verse 17, Think not that I am come to destroy law. Jesus, listen, catch up. All I came to destroy the law. You're wrong. All the prophets. He's not coming to do that either. He said, I am not, I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. In other words, Jesus came to bring it to full focus. Where it was dark and uncertain and cloudy. Jesus, I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna fulfill the law. It's not gonna, not one word is gonna change. 
Huh? He's not fulfilling. Thank you. Read verse 18 B. For verily I say unto you, what? till heaven and earth pass, what? one jot or uh -huh. one tittle uh -huh. shall in no wise pass from the law. Till all till be all fulfilled. Uh -huh. Not one T nor one I. All will be, everything will be fulfilled. The problem is with the human family, they have no understanding. They have no revelation. That's why people make this statement. The Bible contradicts itself. The Bible do not. Right. Let me repeat. The Bible do not contradict itself. People are lack of revelation. The, the Bible has been revealed. And it's not one person's interpretation versus another. The Bible has already been interpreted. What it needs now is understanding. Solomon said, get wisdom. He said, but in all your getting, you need understanding. People fail to understand because they won't obey. Do you not know? You have to obey first. Then understanding comes second. Obedience first. Understanding second. Thank you, Jesus. People trying to understand God. People trying to know all this about God. But they won't obey Him. Walking in the flesh. Walking in their own will, their own thoughts. It's the way I see it. That's, right. that's your way. That's a problem. That's why Jesus laid down his life to get rid of your way. These religious folks make me sick with that stupid statement. I see it this way. Well, why don't you see it Jesus' way? That's what the book said. The Bible said, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. You got to have a new thought pattern. You got to think like Jesus thought. What would Jesus do about this? Go to the Bible. How did Jesus handle this? Go to the Bible. What did the Bible tell me to do? Go to the Bible. Your answer lies within the scripture. Thank you, Jesus. But too many people walking in the flesh. Walking in the flesh, trying to obey God in the flesh, trying to please God in old fleshly thoughts, fleshly mind, fleshly action, Flesh and tradition and don't even know God. Huh? Paul said that I might know him in the power of his resurrection, in the fellowship of his suffering. Paul said, what, what, what did Jesus say? Jesus said, not my will. Not my will. People got to submit themselves to the Lord and say, not my will. But thy will be done. Because man got a will. Woman got a will. You got a way, but it's not God's way. Huh? Thank you, Jesus. For Solomon said that. Solomon thought his way was right. Solomon said, there is a way that seemed right unto man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Solomon said in the book of Proverbs, all the ways of man, everything a man do is right in his own eyes, but God weighs the spirit. Thank you, Jesus. We have to look into the mirror, the mirror called the Bible. When people get into the Word of God, I feel good about that. When the people get into the Word of God and start looking into the Word of God, that Word will bounce in your face and let you see what kind of person you are. It will let you see you are undone, you are incomplete, and you are in a mess. And you need a Savior. Oh, have mercy. Thank you, Jesus. This Bible is right. It's right by itself. Begin to read 19. Whosoever, therefore, shall break one of these least commandments, uh -huh. and shall teach me and so. Break the commandment and teach me and so. Look at tradition. Baptism in Jesus' name was a commandment. Look at the religious world. They're breaking the commandment, this, the New Testament commandment, and teaching folks they don't have to do. Look what's happening. You don't have to be baptized in Jesus' name. That's a lie. When Peter said it's a commandment. Jesus, that's what Jesus told Nicodemus. Jesus himself told Nicodemus. If you're not born of the water and the spirit, you ain't going to heaven. But you got religion telling folks you don't even have to be baptized. See, that's the word of a man versus the word of God. You don't even have to do that. That's not what the Bible says. In St. Mark chapter 16, verse 15, the Bible said, Go ye therefore teach the God of every creature. Preach the God of the world. He that believeth and he was baptized shall be saved. He that believeth not shall be damned. That's the Bible. What we're going to do with the word. Thank you, Jesus. Whosoever <coughs> shall break one of these least commandments and shall teach men so, he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. 